What's going on, beautiful people? It is I, your flying locomotive, and faster than a speeding bullet supercliff, coming at you live for a brand new video. And for today's majestic and fantastic video, we are continuing our adventures with the Man of Steel himself, with Superman issue number 11. But before we dive into the dawn of DC, if you are new to the channel, then smash that like and subscribe button. That way you guys never miss out on anything that happens on this majestic channel. So what are you waiting for? Let's raise the bar and go full on Super Saiyan. Hit that subscribe button. Vos without further ado, let's save Metropolis and let's save the world with Superman issue number 11. Alrighty folks. So our story begins with a tiny little flashback prior to Superman disappearing with Marilyn Moonlight at the end of issue number nine. Lena Luthor, aka you know, Lex's daughter, who currently is an employee at Supercorp, asks LL01 for Lex Corp's file on her. For Lena is curious, curious to know what her father thinks of her. Now she's obviously anticipating a very Lex Luthor response, something, you know, narcissistic, but at the same time, she's also looking to see if there's maybe a possibility that Lex actually gives a shit about his, about his daughter. Well, tough luck, Lena, because upon pulling the file, it turns out to be just a brief and purely factual account on her life. Her being the daughter of Lex Luthor and Contessa Erica Alexandra del Portanzo, when she was born, Luthor sold her to Brainiac 13, who took her to the far future and turned her into his avatar. And when she returned to the present day during the Imperiax War and was saved by Superman, Lex then purged all traces of Brainiac from her and sent Lena to live with Letitia on an isolated island. Now, despite knowing that the file would be emotionless, she's still disappointed that her dad views her as nothing more than, you know, some sort of item. From there, that's when Letitia comes in and tries to comfort her. Her grandmother then tells Lena that she is more than whatever Lex wrote. She also says that Lex is afraid of her because Lena, she represents the worst thing that Luther can't stand. That being, you know, her intelligence and that she's smarter than Lex. Suddenly, an alarm sounds off, and to which we see Mercy Graves announcing that Superman has disappeared, and that finding him is a top priority. Lena runs after her towards the command center, and here they conduct a conference call with Lex at Strikers Island. Lois then runs into the room as they begin to work out the situation, and of course Lois isn't happy that her husband has all of a sudden disappeared for like the 90th time. How before anything else can be said or done, Farm and Graft break into the tower with loads of explosions. And given that Superman at this point in time is still dealing with the whole kryptonite poisoning situation to which both Graf and Farm are wielding kryptonite weapons. Therefore, if they manage to wound Superman again, it's going to kill him. Therefore, they need to keep Superman away as much as possible. All of a sudden, more shit starts to go off. Following an explosion, a figure donning one of Lex Luthor's war suits storms in and quickly binds Mercy and Lois in nets. Now, Lena, she assumes at first that Lex was inside the war suit. Given that, you know, that's his shick. But Lex is truly still at Strikers Island. Therefore, someone else is operating the suit. But who can it be? Question mark? Well, person watching this video, it turns out that the person wearing this war suit is Letitia Luther. That's right, folks. Letitia is all about the revenge against Lex Luthor campaign. Turns out that she can't stand her son. She thinks he's a piece of shit. Also, she hated being forced to stay on an island and watch over his bratty child. Basically, she's a mean old woman. From there, after managing to escape for the time being, Lena rushes out of LexCorp only to come face to face with Superman. And right here is where we pick up from the end of issue 10, where at the end of the last issue, the Revenge Squad threw a kryptonite gas grenade, which of course brought down Superman. Once the chain ties up Superman, Graf proceeds to ask our hero to join them in destroying Lex. Now, of course, Superman refuses because, you know, he's a good guy, but Graf tells him that the rare kryptonite in his claw is synthetic. Each finger on his claw holds a different color of kryptonite, each one having their own specific effect. In terms of the red kryptonite, Graf deliberately engineered it to induce extreme anger in Superman. And thus, by enraging the Man of Steel, Superman flies over to Strikers Island and drags Luthor back to Supercore. Lena begs Superman not to kill her dad, but Letitia tells her that Lex deserves it. For the record, can we just say that, you know, Lex's parents are the worst? Because Christ on a bike, talk about terrible parents. Uh, Social services, please. <laughs> Afterwards, Letitia flies off to deal with the next step in their plan, and Lena runs to Superman to try and stop him. However, Lex tells Graf that he has made a major error, for he assumed Superman was only angry at Lex, and that is not the case at all. Superman is also angry at Graf, and with that, Superman viciously attacks the Revenge Squad, to which he easily defeats them. 
I mean, holy crap on a crab stick. He punches the chain through the freaking floor. Superman flies back up through the hole in the floor and grabs Lex. But Lex stabs him with Graf's shard of green kryptonite. And as Lex expects it to counter the effects of the red kryptonite, it also fatally poisons Superman. Lex says he can't save Superman, but Graf reveals that it's already too late. Check it. For the plan was never just to kill Lex. Rather, it was to destroy his legacy. And with that, we switch to the outside world, where Letitia releases a cloud of kryptonite gas across the city. Now, although kryptonite is usually only dangerous to humans after a long-term exposure, the kryptonite Letitia is releasing is a synthetic version which affects humans in the same way it affects kryptonians. And it's here where Lex admits that he's developed it years ago when he first met Graf the Farm. Therefore, because of his hatred towards Superman, all of Metropolis will now pay for his genius. They will pay for the sins of Lex Luthor. And that, folks, was the end of Superman issue number 11. And thank you guys for checking out my video, as it truly, truly means the world to me. So yeah, once more, Joshua Williamson gives us another fantastic issue that stars the Man of Steel himself. What I really dug about this issue is the attention focus on Lena. I think in terms of a supporting cast and a series or a story about one particular person, the writer of said story still needs to devote some attention to the supporting characters, especially when supporting characters are integral to the current arc or the overall plot. And Joshua Williamson does that exceptionally well. Lena doesn't come off as someone who's arrogant or annoying. She's written like an actual human being. She wants her father's love, and yet she's wanting love from someone who unfortunately isn't capable of providing such love. So right off the bat, you're already feeling for Lena. Now in terms of Letitia being the one wearing the war suits, I honestly didn't see that coming. Given it, it would have been too obvious, you know, since she's a Luthor, but the way Joshua Williamson executed the reveal, having the war suit show up at the end of issue 10, and by having the first half of this issue be a flashback for issue 10, it tricked you. And I have to admit, I was tricked. I'm loving how the story is continuing to showcase Lex Luthor's past, and how at first he wanted to be a hero, but despite how much he tried, in the end, he's always found some way to fuck it all up. Despite being incredibly smart and incredibly savvy, he's also kind of a dumbass. Lex can't picture someone else whom he views to be a lesser, you know, and who would ever attempt to destroy him. And so it's cool seeing how his arrogance and his belief that he's invincible is biting him in the butt. Overall, the Superman series is doing a great job, and it's probably my favorite DC series that's currently happening right now. A lot of cool new interesting ideas, new characters, and concepts, and I'm all for it. So yeah. As always, I'm your majestic sayer of words, Supercliff, and if you guys are new to the channel, then do me a solid by smashing that like and subscribe button, and also the notification bell so that you'll never miss out on an upload, and so that you'll always be kept up to date with your favorite top tier comics happening in the comic book world. Now tell me, what are your thoughts and opinions on this issue? Are you guys excited for issue number 12? Let me know down in the comment section below, and until the next video, peace, giggity goo.